Hello, here's your beautiful Waltham. Let's see if I can get the light right here. Sorry. Sorry, there'll be a little bit of a glare. Let's see if I can get rid of that now. Oh, uh, much better. Okay, here's your beautiful Waltham. And understand that could possibly be a birthday gift. So happy birthday. And uh, let's start by talking about uh, care on these. These watches from the turn of the century, they are not waterproof, so you don't want to wear them in the rain and keep them for, uh, a, you know, you can wear it when it's cold, whatever. Just don't get water running on it, and that's what we want to avoid. So I tell people, like, take, take it off when you're doing the dishes, something like that. Um, just avoid that. Other than that, it's a wear everyday watch. Um, now, this one has the, uh, uh, I think, the... Um, Roll gold plating on this that gives the, its nice gold color. And what I tell people to do is get yourself a rouge cloth, um, R-O-U-G-E. And so what I do is, uh, I have an old ratty one, but you can get them on uh, Amazon or whatever. And they have, they're pink on one side. There's a little buffing cloth, cloth on the other. You can just, after you wear it, a few times a month and you want to bring back the sheen on it. Just use that cloth. Wipe it all over the place. Don't get the pink on the band. And that will take all the fingerprints and bring back the sheen. And then after that, you just take a nice white cloth. And just take all the fingerprints off. And there you go. I'll do that again before I pack this up. Okay, so there we go. So this is also a manual wine watch. And uh, so one full wind, and I'll show you that in a second, uh, gives you 24 hours of power to the um, to the movement. And that will get your, keep your watch running. So uh, let's go ahead and wind it now. Now the difference between this and a modern watch, you know, you're used to um, winding it back and forth like this. We want to avoid that. So we're going to wind in the, one direction or forward or clockwise and i think i wound this late last night and also too when you're wearing it you're going to wear it all all day let's say you put it on in the morning go to work whatever and you're still going to wear it go ahead and wind it back up full um again at the end of the day and that'll keep it running at its optimum i mean these are old but they keep pretty good time uh that's just uh something to consider so let's wind it now and i think uh, like i said i think i wound it late last night so it'll be a half wind so uh, usually Walthams, when they need a full power, you do these ones about 15 of them. So let's see how many we get. So, so one direction, and eh, slight push it on the crown when you do it. And you can hear it, the gears. And there we go, it's tight. You cannot want it anymore. You'll know it, you're not gonna break it. Don't worry about it. So you. Don't worry about whining. You can whine as many times, 100 times during the day if you want to. So there we have it fully wound. Now, to set the time, what we want to do, instead of pulling it out on the crown, we want a little more control. So I like uh, to see a little pinch behind the crown like that. Okay, we'll push it back in. And a little pinch behind the crown. And I'll do it one more time. Push it back in and one more time. And we'll, that's much, has much more control. And then when we set the time, we want to move the hands in the forward or clockwise direction. Don't whip them around. We're good to go. Set in our time. It's midday and it's one o'clock. We just put our watch on, wound it up. I mean, wound it up, set the time, boom. And then we're putting it on and uh, it's a beautiful watch. And uh, thank you very much and enjoy.